Early ball from McLaren for Easton to chase, but uh, Russell Anderson looking all the way across to provide cover. Again, it's uh, Robbie Winters working extremely hard. That's a good ball! A superb goal! Shallow Olsen! His ninth goal of the season. That was a wonderful ball whipped in from the right-hand side. Well, he's won so many high balls already this afternoon, Shallow Olsen, but just look at this. Getting in between the two defenders, over the goalkeeper. Terrific goal, great cross. It's a sensation, of course. We touched Ellen getting the right service. As you can see here, there's not a lot the defence can really do. You can't pinpoint a bad mistake positional-wise. Winners has done well, he's worked his space. And all of a sudden, has gone in the middle of the two defenders and got a wonderful header. Lane had no chance, great goal. And he's in there again, causing problems, Olofsson. He won that ball against the odds. This is Pedersen. Zetterland! Oh, incredible stuff here! And just look at his face! Lars Zetterland! 2-0 to United! A fabulous shot! Jim Layton can't believe it! Well, just look at this! From Lars Zetterland! A terrific strike! Right into the corner! United 2, Aberdeen 0. Well, you, you dream of hitting a ball as sweet as what this is. This is sheer technique. Beautiful strike. Tim Lane, world class goalkeeper, can do nothing about it again. And I don't think Aberdeen can believe what's happened to him. They started fairly brightly, and now they're certainly two down. Well, United are the type of side now that uh, they'll hit effectively on the break. And there's no flag, this could be number three. Andy McLaren right through the goalkeeper. This is incredible. 20 minutes gone here at Paradise. Dundee United 3. Aberdeen 0. Well, the Aberdeen defence looking out towards the assistant referee. There was no flag. And Andy McLaren just went on here and drilled the ball through Jim Layton. Right through his legs. Uh, I think it's as simple as just never going to be Aberdeen's day. The linesman. Was in a great position to see it, and not quite got the angle on it. But the linesman's in a great position to see it, and when you can squeeze it through, he's a better angle. Well, this is trouble here, Charlie Windus. Dean Windus has already started walking off the field as we watch this replay. It's a red card for Windus. He started walking after he made the challenge. And the referee immediately. Uh, took out the red card. Windus is still arguing with the referee, and the referee is now calling him back as uh, the Dundee United player, uh, Pedersen, getting some treatment. So, what an afternoon this is turning out to be for Aberdeen. Three goals down. reacts well, he's recovered from uh, a hefty challenge as he took earlier on. And that's a good ball in from Shell Olsen, but the flag was up on the far side. And uh, Stephen Glass working extremely hard. He does well to get away from Pedersen. And the effort going in from him, that's a good save by Steve Dykstra. Well, Stephen Glass is the one player here that's uh, providing some inspiration for Aberdeen. He to work his way all across the middle of the park and then get that ball away from Pedersen. Get in a good dipping effort here. Played by Zettelman to Pedersen. This is Malpass providing the cross. Presley's there! Good save by Leighton. Great service again. Presley's read the situation. I think the forwards will want to ask questions about them. They want it squared. Winters in particular. Jim Layton had it covered. And Layton again with another marvellous save. And again, it's Stephen Presley. Two efforts from Presley in less than a minute. And uh, two fine saves. That's superb stuff from Jim Layton. In the space of uh, 
Three minutes in the first half. Look at another one on here. Another good save by Leighton from Shell Olofsson. Well, that's uh, three or four saves by Jim Leighton. In a very short space of time. Still Roy Aitken nudges on his man. Is pushing United forward here. It's through for Shell Olofsson. Terrific goal. He stabbed the ball behind Jim Leighton. 83 minutes gone. 4 0 to United. A second goal for Shell Olofsson. Well, not a small pass, but the better of Stephen Glass in the middle of the park. I think Aberdeen thought maybe they should have had a free kick. It's played through by Malpass. Just look at this for finishing. Stabbing it right beyond Leighton. 4 0. Brilliant stuff from Malpass. Not just the fact that his determination to get the ball, but the weight of his pass for Olofsson. He sizes up the situation and then he weighs the pass perfectly. Olofsson couldn't ask for better and he just needs to knock it through Jim's Leighton's legs and it's comfortable. Well, the Aberdeen director sitting there with uh, plenty to think about. Uh, Stuart Milne, arms folded, jacket off. Just under three minutes left. And here come United again. Nice interplay. It's Easton. It's another one. It's a terrific finish. It's 5 0 to United. Craig Easton. Brilliant finish. Buried it behind Leighton. And did he enjoy that? What a wonderful prospect this young man is. Great play, he knocked it through there to McSwagan, took the return, and then just buried it behind the goalkeeper. Great finish. Good and selfish play from McSwagan. There's only one positive thought in this young man's mind. He's hitting the target. And it's a glorious finish. As you say, a prospect who is maturing game by game. Well, he can give some sporting handshakes there, but he must know the end is very close. Great afternoon for Craig Easton. Superb final goal from him and a great performance overall. But the grim face of Roy Aitken tells the story of Aberdeen. There's the United hero, Olofsson, taking his total now to 10 goals for this season. The Dons fans stunned to silence. At the other end, the Dundee United fans celebrate. Maybe further dramas to come in the aftermath of this match.